What's up, Knuckle Buster? This is Joe from Code One Maintenance. And today I want to discuss four tips on how to pass your oral exams, okay? So the first tip, uh, the tools, Jepson. And so when you're studying and stuff like that, Jepson is the go-to people. And right here, there's some on YouTube, there's some uh, oral questions. You can look FAA general oral questions, and then uh, you can go to airframe and power plant. And you can read them as you're driving to the school, if you're driving home from work, anything like that, or for a long drive anywhere. Or if you want to take a walk in a park or something like that, you can listen to it. Next thing, uh, flashcards. Look, people love flashcards. I say, especially here, because it's just a time crunch, uh, timeline restriction, instead of writing them all out, uh, there's an app called Free uh, Quizlet, and you can, um, uh, there's already set, already made for you. So you can, all you need to do is press it, flips it over, and then you can actually uh, write it in there. Okay. And I'll read to you what the uh, question is. And uh, if you're a book guy, you can go to the Jepson books. Here's a, the series right here. I highly recommend Jepson. Um, please use a Jepson. Hands down, the best one out of all of them. And uh, that's going to be your tools to... Uh, to use to uh, basically it's your script that's all, that's what I always say it's your script to pass now there's a lot of uh, people get uptight about that oh they should learn this and that yes there's some sections that you should know it's a level threes and stuff like that you have should have a little of uh, a level of proficiency but that's what we do here we teach the level three ones that you need to know but when I uh, depending on the on the the DME as well and it's not it's illegal it's just you know, uh, they're looking for certain, um, certain keywords. So a lot of people get like, oh, yeah, they should know everything and they should know the carburetor inside and out. Not true. Depends on certain DMEs and they're just, you know, hard heads like that. So, um, when you're studying, I'm mean, going to go back to number two. When you're studying, make sure that you have a study partner, right? Yes. Go through the material first. But then you need to have a study partner so you can verbally get the, the stuff out of your head, out your mouth coherently, because that's super important. And uh, you need to do that uh, proficiently, because when you're in that test, you're going to be high anxiety. You need to have that practice. Right. So one of the things is to lower that anxiety, lower the stress levels is meet with your DME, get, you know, go to his facility. You know, some uh, DMEs are pretty cool. They'll let you, you know, like walk around and and uh, get a feel of the lay of the land. They can't give you everything, obviously, but it's not also not against the rules. Right? At least get to meet him, even if he doesn't show you anything. Get to meet him. Some DMEs are in the school, so you're already familiar with the area and the tools and the instructor and stuff like that. But some DMEs, uh, like here, you know, we, they either go to him or they come here. And we just uh, have a little chit chat. Get to get the feel of his personality and stuff like that. And it's okay to go to another DME and talk to him if you don't feel comfortable with, with one of them. And here at Tucson, we got three DMEs. They're all awesome. They're all uh, they're not uh, difficult, and they're very lenient. You know, some of them like if if you miss one, some of them will just say, "Nope, you're done. You failed." Uh, here, they actually, you know give you a chance to score that 70 all the way to the seven questions. And some of them are uh, first question you miss, you fail that section and you move on to the next. And then you have to retest. So here, they're pretty awesome. I always highly recommend people who, who come from out of town to use our instructors. Uh, there's George Torres, uh, Dave Raymond, and Gary Steele. And um, awesome guys, very awesome guys. And uh, so the next thing is, relax you know try to relax as much as possible that's a great thing about our dmvs they help you you know they just say hey take a breather do everything they can in their power and legally to let you relax and calm down take a break if you need to have a little snack or something like that. and they and they're very great about keeping that stress level down so you can uh, be present so those are my tips for the trade and as the advice I get, super important, have a partner, meet the DME, that way you can execute, all right? And if you have any more questions, comment below and I'll get to you.
to to help you out. Thank you. Bye.